Okay, now we're forms experts. We're going to get rid of our form here and start looking at tables in HTML. Tables are really useful ways of setting out data or any kind of information to the user in a sort of Excel spreadsheet like manner. Let's take a look and see how we do it. As you might be able to guess, we use the table tag to start off our table. And then within the table, we have a table row. So TR. And then within the table row, we have individual table cells. And for those we use TD, which is short for table data. So if, for example, I wanted to put my family's favorite colors here, I might have Rob and then another item of data or cell and then green. And that would then fill the first table row. Let's just have a quick look and see. At the moment, that just looks like Rob and green. Nothing particularly special there. But then we can add another table row in the same way. And then we could have Kirsten and her favorite color, orange. Very cheerful. So now you can see it spreads out everything nicely so everything's well aligned within the table. So now I'm just going to copy and paste these so you don't have to watch me typing them again, but we'll have Tommy. His favorite color is somewhat in transition, but at the moment it's still pink. And then Ralphie, who doesn't really know what his favorite color is, but he's been assigned blue. So there we go, that's what our table looks like. It's not much to look at, but in the next section we'll see how we can change the style with CSS and get some really pretty, well spaced out tables. I'll just show you a couple of other things that we can do with tables. The first is we can have a table head section. And then in our table head we might have a table row again, and then here, instead of having a standard bit of table data, we have a table heading section. So we might have name for the first column, for example, and then favorite color, two U's in there, fantastic. And then let's check that out. And you can see that we've got a slightly different styling on the table head cells there. So they're bold and they're centered as well. And we could obviously change that styling if we wanted to. If we didn't like that favorite color goes on for a bit too long, we could add a line break in there. And then it would again align everything nicely, horizontally and vertically for us. Finally then, if we're gonna have a table head, we should really separate the second part into a table body. Now this doesn't actually change anything in terms of the look but it makes our code nice and clear as to which bit of the table is which. Now you can see I was individually indenting all of those. With most text editors, you can actually indent a whole chunk of code just by selecting it all and then pressing tab. And that then indents everything really nicely. Excellent. So you're now pretty familiar with HTML tables. In the next video, we'll look at one of the original innovations that led to the web, really the thing that holds it all together, and that is links.